Hello everyone and welcome to Make Believe ESL. My name is Andrew and thank you for joining me here in the classroom today. For today's vocabulary comparisons lesson, I want to take a look at two expressions that are often confusing and those two are on time and in time. Okay, as always, I want to take a look at the definitions for each as well as a bunch of different examples. Okay, let's start with on time because I think that's the one that most people already know. Okay, so I put here for a definition at the scheduled or agreed upon time or punctually. Okay, so notice that this can be both an adjective or an adverb. Okay, it can be used in both ways. Okay, let's look at our first example. I arrived at the meeting at exactly nine o'clock. I'm glad I was on time today. Okay, so again, I think pe most people know how to use on time in this way. We can see I arrived at nine o'clock, right? I put there exactly nine o'clock, which means that the meeting started at exactly nine o'clock. And maybe I've got a boss or a, a manager who likes to be very punctual, who likes to start meetings at exactly the meeting time, right? At exactly nine o'clock in this case. Okay, if I arrived at nine o'clock, then I was on time. Okay, also note that if I arrived five minutes early, then I was still on time for the meeting. So no matter how early I arrive, as long as I arrive at nine o'clock or before nine o'clock, then I am on time. Okay, let's look at another example. You're late. I said dinner was at six o'clock, but it's already 10 after. Please be on time next time. Okay, so we can see here, Dinner was supposed to be at 6. I arrived at 6.10, right? At 10 after 6. So in this case, I was not on time for the meal. Everybody else already started eating at 6 o'clock, right? That's when dinner was served. So I was not on time. I was late. Okay, so again, I think both those examples are pretty clear. Okay, now let's turn to in time. Okay, I put here for a definition before it's too late or early enough, okay? I, I especially think that definition there, early enough, is really important, okay? And I want you to remember that. So let's look at the first example. We got to the airport later than I'd hoped, but we still arrived in time for our flight. Okay, so let's imagine the flight was at seven o'clock and we had planned to arrive at the airport at about five or 5.30, right? Maybe it's an international flight, so we wanted to make sure we arrived really early. But let's imagine then, again, as we look at the example, that we arrived maybe at six o'clock, which is later than we had hoped to arrive, but we still did not miss the flight. So we were in time for the flight, Again, we didn't arrive when we wanted to arrive, but we arrived early enough, or again, before it was too late for us to sort of miss the flight. Because remember, you usually have to go through a security check or you have to go through immigration, you have to check your bags and so on. So there was still enough time for us to do all this stuff. In other words, we were still in time, but it wasn't our desired time. Okay, let's look at another example. Unfortunately, the present I ordered for you didn't arrive in time for your birthday party. Okay, let's think about this example. Let's imagine that your birthday party is, let's just say, April 1st. Okay, but your actual birthday maybe is April 3rd. Okay, so the present, now, now today is April 1st, it's your birthday party and the present has not arrived. So it hasn't arrived early enough for me to be able to give it to you at your birthday party. But let's imagine then that it does arrive the next day, April 2nd. So in this case, I can still give it to you for your birthday, but I didn't get it in time for your birthday party on April 1st. So it didn't arrive before it was too late, right? Because it was the birthday party is today, April 1st, so again, it didn't come early enough. Okay, if the difference between on time and in time is still not clear, I wanna take a look at a few situations where they could both be used in the same way. Okay, so that's what I wanna look at next. All right, so let's take a look at this here. So I put sometimes the meaning can be the same. So let's take a look at these examples. The first one here I wrote, I arrived on time or in time for the meeting. 
Okay, so let's think about this. Again, let's think, okay, the meeting starts at 10 o'clock. So if I arrived on time for the meeting, that means I arrived at 10 o'clock or before. Okay, if I arrived in time for the meeting, in this case it means, well, I arrived before the meeting began. So, so let's imagine the meeting scheduled for 10, maybe I arrive at 10.05, but the meeting hasn't started yet, right? The meeting is getting started a little late. So in that case, I arrived on time or in time for the meeting. In this case, it's not going to make a difference, right? So we could use them interchangeably. Okay, another example here, because the bus broke down, I won't be able to make it to the game on time or in time. So again, imagine the game's gonna start at six o'clock. Okay, my bus broke down, so I'm not gonna get there by six o'clock. Okay, even if the game gets started a little later than six, maybe the game gets started at 6.10 or 6.15, well, I'm not gonna be there before 6.10 or 6.15 either, so I won't get to the game on time or I won't get to the game in time. In that situation, it's not gonna make a difference which one you use because both of them are accurate. Okay, now, if you're still not sure about the difference between on time and in time, so let's see if we can put them together with a couple more examples. Okay, the first one I wrote here, although I didn't get to the bus stop on time, luckily the bus was late, so I made it in time to catch it. Okay, so again, let's think about that schedule. So imagine the bus is scheduled to leave at 7.30, okay? I arrive at the bus stop at 7.35, so clearly I'm not on time. But luckily for me, the bus doesn't arrive until 7.40. The bus is late, so I am in time to catch the bus even though I am not on time. I didn't arrive at the scheduled time of 7.30. So again, because the bus was also late, I was in time to catch it. So again, that, that kind of highlights with in time, we often follow it with an infinitive to say that you're not in time to do something, right? Maybe I didn't arrive in time to see the beginning of something, even if I arrived on the scheduled time. Maybe it started early. Okay, one more example. They weren't on time for the seven o'clock start, but they made it in time to see the start of the film. Okay, well anybody who's been to a movie theater knows that if the scheduled time is seven o'clock, well the actual movie's not gonna start at seven o'clock because first they play trailers, right, for other future movies that are coming or they play advertisements or something like that. So the actual film won't get going until say 7.15 in this example because all those trailers and advertisements are gonna take 10 or 15 minutes to play. So if they arrived at say 7.10, well then they've arrived in time to see the beginning of the film, right? If they arrived at 7.20, well then, then, then in that case, they probably were not in time to see the beginning of the film. And of course, they also weren't on time at all, right? They were 20 minutes late. Okay, so hopefully with those examples, you can see a little more clearly what the difference is between on time and in time. Okay, and if you think you can make an example using either or both of these expressions, why not write them in the comments section below? Well, thank you so much for joining me here at Maple Leaf ESL, and I look forward to seeing you again next time.